Hello and welcome to the WebSurden Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Burberry has become the first luxury brand to offer personalized Pinterest content. Nearly 80% of Israeli online shoppers buy from abroad and Android continues its growth worldwide as iOS struggles. Luxury fashion retailer Burberry has become the first business in its market to offer its customers a personalized Pinterest experience. By performing a short three-question survey, visitors to the Burberry page will see tailored content based on the answers they gave. Currently, Pinterest is the most viewed beauty platform in the world, with 38.5 million users visiting its hair and beauty section, and the recent move allows the brands to cater its posts directly to customers. After the announcement of a 10% fall in profits last year, Burberry announced that they would be focusing on its digital prowess to boost customer loyalty. It was also the first brand to take advantage of a snap code on Snapchat, giving in-store customers exclusive extra content. According to data released by PayPal and global research firm Ipsos, 79% of Israeli online shoppers currently make cross-border purchases online. Due to high levels of tax placed on e-commerce orders in the country, it often works out cheaper for shoppers online to look internationally for an item. Most of the orders are made from online shops based in China, Brazil, the USA or the UK. Alibaba has even recently made investments in a number of Israeli tech startups helping make China the top e-commerce destination. However, the Israeli e-commerce market is still growing. Research firm Statista says that e-commerce revenues in Israel will reach nearly 5 billion US dollars by 2020, up from 3.6 billion this year, an annual growth of 8.3%. Android has continued its growth globally as iOS begins to slow. Kantar World Panel has recently released figures showing that Android has seen significant increase in growth across all major markets. With growth levels of 5.5% in Europe, 6.6% in Japan and 4% in Australia, it also continues to have a 65% market share in the US despite a minor decrease of 0.6%. Meanwhile, Apple's iOS system is having to cope with a back-to-back -back quarterly iPhone sales decline. Overall, iOS has only increased its market share overall by 0.7% in one year and continues to lose ground to budget smartphone producers Huawei and Xiaomi in China. Kantar said that it expects a weak third quarter for Apple as well, as the anticipation for an upcoming iPhone typically means a weaker summer period for iOS. Amazon is pushing further into India with a three-day nationwide promotion. It was reported that the e-commerce giant hit record daily sales in the country after its Great Indian Sale. Amazon India said the first day of the sale was their biggest day ever, with several categories performing well, including software, which saw an increase in sales of 1,000%. The company also recently launched its Prime subscription service for the first time in India, which will offer free one-day and two-day deliveries to customers and access to Amazon Prime Video. However, rival e-commerce marketplace Flipkart, which has recently held a nationwide sale, has launched its own content program, Content to Commerce. In an attempt to take on Amazon's prime service in the fight for traffic in India, Flipkart is working with multiple online content creators to give users access to many different forms of content, including video and written articles. Flipkart claims that within a week of its launch, one million people had already used the service. And finally, McDonald's partnership with Pokemon Go is immediately showing benefits as profits are boosted in Japan. Launched in July, Pokemon Go has been the most downloaded app in Japan since its release, and the deal with McDonald's allows users of the game to use the fast food company's restaurants in the country as poker stops and poker gyms. Following this agreement, it's seen a jump in sales of 27% in the month following the app's release. 
McDonald's CEO Sarah Casanova said that the business is in a vastly different condition than it was a year ago, but that it was too early to tell for sure what effect the Pokemon Go partnership would be. And that's it from me today. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our catch-up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos, and more. See you next time.